Hey, what's going on, you guys? Jamie here. Um, I am back from New York City and Pennsylvania, where I spent the last week with uh, all of my fellow Olympus trailblazers and visionaries for our annual summit. And um, boy, it was an exciting time. It was really cool to not only get to hang out with you know my team, but also to get the opportunity during the launch event for the OMD EM1 Mark II to get to hang out with some of the press, you know, um, some buddies of mine like Chris Gambit were there and it was, it was great to reconnect with them and meet up with some, uh, some other faces, you know, some really cool people met up with the, the crew from, uh, tech we like, um, great, great couple of people there as well. Um, one of the exciting things that, uh, that I can talk about now is that the Olympus updater app has been updated and one of the features that that brings to the OMD EM1 Mark II is the ability to um, to save your settings so that if you're going to do like a big firmware update, you won't lose any of your settings. Uh, it even saves your, uh, your custom presets as well. Or another use for this could be um, if you're one of those people that has more than one body, um, then if you get one body set up really how you like it and you want both cameras to be like a clone of one another, uh, it's a really handy way rather than diving through all the menus to get everything set up, you can just do it right here. So I'm going to do a screen share, obviously, um, and uh, and I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to I'm work in dual monitors here. So if I'm looking away, it's because I'm looking at the other monitor. So I'm going to open up the uh, the Olympus Updater app. And uh, once that opens up, you'll probably notice that it looks a little different than it has in the past. You know, it's obviously a version 2.0. It's got a, had a fresh update. So I've got the app open. I have my OMD EM1 Mark II connected to my computer via the USB-C connection. Thank God for that, right? Um, so I'm going to turn the camera on. And when the camera comes on, it detects that it's connected to the computer. And you've got some options. The top one is storage hit OK. And once you hit OK, the updater app will recognize that you've got it connected. And the updater app also tells you what to do as well. So it says right on the screen there, please connect your camera to get started. And it has the word storage in, uh, in a little bracket there so you know to click that. Here's where we've got our options. Um, you can update the firmware. We can save our settings in my sets. Yes and we can load those settings in my sets. So we're gonna save those settings. It's as simple as clicking on that. It's gonna to connect to the camera and this works relatively quickly. And you just follow the directions. You know, it's telling you that not necessarily all of your settings, depending on the type of setting will be saved. I do not have a list of what those things aren't, but I think that the key things for most people are gonna be, you know, those my sets and, and stuff like that. So. We'll click next, um, latest setting in all my sets, or you can customize it and choose like, you know, your, um, just your my sets or the latest setting, which is your current setting on your camera. So I'll just have it set to the default of the latest setting in all the my sets. And I'm curious why they're calling it my sets when, um, when the dials say custom one, two, and three, but maybe it's faster than saying my set. I don't know. Uh, so we'll click next. We can uh, ask for the location where we want to save it. And, uh, well, you can see here it's already defaulted to my desktop because that's where I had put it originally. That's not the default location uh, on the Mac. It's actually in your library and your application support, I believe. Um, and you can even give it a name. So, you know, you see how here it's defaulted to today's date, which is actually kind of convenient. So if you get your camera in kind of a wonky setup, you know, you can look back at like a previous date, you know, and pick one of those. Or let's say um, you could name it sports, you could name it wildlife, you could name it whatever. And if you know you're going out on a particular shoot, you just hurry up, hook your cameras up to your computer, um, load basically all the settings that are customized for that type of shooting, and then head out the door and go shoot. It's pretty cool. Uh, currently, right now, um, this is only working on the OMD EM1 Mark II, I did hook up the Pen F and I hooked up an EM5 Mark II, I hooked up an EM1, I hooked up an EM10 Mark II and an EM10 Mark I and a Pen EP5. <laughs> so I basically hooked it up to like every damn camera I've got. And currently this is the only camera that allows you to back up your settings. If they're going to allow other cameras in the future, I really couldn't tell you. And uh, 
that's a good question. I guess somebody's going to have to ask that. So you choose your default location and you choose to file name it and you just hit save. And it says it already exists because I just did this to practice before I was going to show you. Uh, so I'll hit yes and overwrite it. And it's actually really a quick uh, process. Um, you know, it takes like four or five seconds and then it's done. Maybe six seconds. There we go. All right, so it's done. So it says that it's been saved. Um, I could continue saving to save, you know, um, another setting if I had not chosen the default or whatever. So I'm done. I can just hit close. And uh, that's that. Easy breezy. And the file is right here. Boop. Um, got it snapping to a grid there. And uh, I have no idea what format it's in. I might just kind of browse through it with like a text editor or something later and just kind of see if I can decipher what's in it. Um, so that's it, you guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, go ahead and put them in the uh, comments section below. Thank you for watching this quick little video that explains how the new Olympus Updater app works. And I will see you guys later.